You're watching PBA Sunday over Solar TV, and we are taking you into the Big Dome for the second day of the quarterfinals right here in the 2009-2010 KFC PBA Philippine Cup. My name is Leo Cruz on hand for today's ball game, and on the agenda today, the Raiders shine Elasto Pacers versus the Boots TJ Giants in Game 2 of their quarterfinal series. Now, to understand the playoff picture a little better, you can check this out. Now the Rainer Shine Elasto Painters started right in the wild card phase, first beating Santa Lucia, and then they went on to beat Coke, and now they are in a best of five series against Pure Foods. Now Pure Foods won their first meeting just last Friday. Let's see what happens today. The winner of this series will go on to face the San Miguel Beermen, and the winner of that will get the chance to do battle in the finals. Now a little trivia for all of you PBA fans out there. Since 1993, in the last 48 previous best of five playoff series, the teams which won game one have won the series 31 times, including 14 in the last 20 and 15 in the last 22 series. Now, this is a little treat for all of you major hardcore PBA fans. Now, we meet the main men of this coverage team. Let me introduce to you Seb Sarmenta and Jason Wynn. Thanks a lot, Liam. You know, Pure Foods is the hottest team in the tournament. They have not lost since December 19. That's a Christmas and a New Year ago. And they have continued to shine brightly. And they want to stretch that winning streak today to be able to establish an imposing 2 to nothing lead against the number nine team, Rain or Shine, that managed to climb into the quarterfinals. You've got Jason Webb with us for this evening's presentation. Game two is always exciting. One is okay, two, because of the adjustments also. But of course, the team that has to make the adjustments uh, is Rain or Shine. Rain or Shine was in that game. It was a tough game. Remember, Rain or Shine is starting to get to be a tired team. They haven't had any rest. They've had big games that they had to play, but none bigger than this one, just because of what the stat that Leah gave. It's very tough to come back from a 2-0 deficit. Absolutely. Look at the numbers in the last game. They will reveal to you, yes, it was close. Yes. Rain or Shine also had a chance. Well, only a five-point game that led, to, uh, that led to a Pure Foods victory. But here are the reasons why Pure Foods won that game. First up, two-point field goal percentage. 54% for Pure Foods. Seb, very hard to beat a team that shoots over 50%. And we're talking about any league, and especially in the PBA. Next up, 22 turnovers committed by Rain or Shine co compared to 14. And Rain or Shine is a team that cannot afford to give away the basketball. That led to 20 points. And finally, backcourt points. 41 points for Rain or Shine, while Pure Foods, 52, 48 of those belonging to the Yap. And if you take a look at the footnote that uh, Jason was beginning to talk about, the Yap boys took over that game from almost the start to the second quarter, to the third all the way, and they were the main headache of Rain or Shine. And in that game, the biggest headache was definitely James Yap. He had his best game of the conference. Very nice to see, if you're Pure Foods, that it's your veterans that are responding to the situation. James Yap having a clear mind and having a clear look at the basket in that game with his conference high 31 points. Roger Yap, on the other hand, he was the guy that started it hot and he finished hot with 8 points. Apart yung ankle breaker Jeff and Jeff Chan and maybe that's more sign of more things to come. Now, let's take a look at your webpage for Pure Foods. Well, for this game, I believe that Pure Foods, the thing that they have to do is they have to be the bully. This is a team that is much bigger, they are much longer, and they're supposed to be much stronger in terms of size and in terms of strength compared to Rain or Shines. And these are the things that they have to do. Number one, pound the boards. When you talk about Pure Foods, in terms of rebound differential, that means that they're a team that has a plus eight in rebound differential, or they out-rebound their opponents by a margin of eight on average throughout the season. While Rain or Shine is the worst they only average less than nine rebounds compared to the oppo their opponents. But in game one, lo and behold, it was actually Rain or Shine that out-rebounded Pure Foods. So they've got to fix that problem. Next up, they have to utilize bench then. Pure Foods, admittedly, or at least on paper, has the better bench. But in game one, they were outscored 48 to 20, 29 and out-rebounded 19 to 14. They have to make Rain or Shine pay every time Rain or Shine goes to the bench. And finally, Take away Rain Sol. And of course, the Sol that we're talking about is Sol Mercado. He had a decent game. 17 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, 
But the good thing that Pure Foods did, they only allowed him 10 attempts. He had four turnovers and had six personal fouls. But you know, Sol Mercado is the barometer of this uh, Rain or Shine squad. I like the way you coined it, uh, take away their, their soul and their sunshine, in fact. But you know, because he did so well in the wild card, it was necessary for Pure Foods to stymie him. And therefore, Rain or Shine has got to get him going here in this game. And the thing that Pure Foods did was they took away Sol in the big quarters, the first quarter and the fourth quarter. Those are the quarters that make the difference and uh, look at the uh, averages that he had in the wild card a big dip in terms of scoring and everything else everything else is about the same with rebounds and assists but like we said first and fourth quarter only a total of four points and now let's flip the what is the proper technological term let's scroll the page and let's take a look at your page for the other side well for rain or shine i believe that they have to have points under pressure they're gonna have to finish strong and they have to start and finish it with experience Number one is they have to hit their threes. This is a team, Seb, that averages or shoots up the most number of threes in the game. And they did that again in game one, shooting 25 attempts. But they did really well because they made 10 out of 25. And they have to continue to do that. Next up, they have to keep possession. What I mean by that is that they do, they cannot turn the ball over. We talked, that, we talked about that on the onset. This is a team that is built to take care of the basketball and cannot afford to give a possession to a team that has so much offense like Pure Foods. Finally, control Pure Foods double threat. And I'm talking about James Yap and Kirby Raimundo. We talked about what uh, James Yap had did in the first game, 31 points. Raimundo, not a slouch himself. He had 12 points and he had 11 rebounds. And the two of them combined for, to for 23 out of 34 from the field. If you have these two guys shooting over 50%, you're going to be in big trouble. Yes, indeed. Starting lineup of the TJ Giants being introduced, and in just a short while, we'll see the graphic of the 10 gentlemen who will start the ball game. The referees for this one are Nol Kilingian, Romy Mangiven, and Nestor Sambrano, wearing 67, 84, and 85 respectively. And we'll follow Jason's webpage as we sail along game number two. Do you know this floor is still smoking from that first game, which could have gone either overtime, which we Hope does not happen on a Sunday, of course. Uh, but uh, when it happens, it does happen. And that game decided towards the last few seconds. And what a game that was. And uh, really could have taken a lot out of uh, Ginebra. Because not only did they lose that big lead, now they're down 2-0. and zero. One predicament that Rain or Shine doesn't want to happen to them. Absolutely, yes. Here's the first attack by Artadi. And immediately Artadi marking Sol Mercado. That's the early assignment. And he here's the nice thing that Pierre Foots is doing. They're giving Sol Mercado different lo looks. Right now they have uh, Paul Artadi, which is a quick guy. And uh, he was going to have trouble in terms of beating him down the floor. On the other hand, they have Roger Yap as well, who bumps Sol Mercado. And that does a lot to confuse a player. In the meantime, Norwood snapping and connecting from the right side. Rico Mayerhofer apologizing quickly to the bench that he lost his man in the shuffle there. Always a good sign for Rainer Shine if you have Gabe Norwood hitting his outside shot. If he starts missing that outside shot, really struggles with his confidence. But when he makes it, it makes him a complete player. Oh, I agree with you whole, uh, wholeheartedly, completely on that particular point. In the meantime, Mayor Hoffer sees the basket with no opposition, takes care of canning him. And first two baskets going to guys that are role players for Pure Foods. They're chipping in right now. And that's something that's something that uh, Coach Ryan Gregoria needs to see. In the meantime, Artadi, you're right about giving uh, Mercado a variety of looks, keep him guessing. Artadi will be willing to give fouls, his body, everything he's got here today, even his Pure Foods jersey, if necessary. And that's just all about confusing an, a very good offensive player. We see Paul Artadi, we talked about Roger Yap will also play him. And Pure Foods will also probably go to a zone every now and then, especially when uh, Sol Mercado goes for a 1-4 set or 1-1 from the top. Artati is full aware that if he commits his second personal foul, he'll go to the bench. He'll go stay away from it as much as possible, but he'll be watching Mercado all throughout this first sequence. In the meantime, oh yes, Chan, don't forget to mark him in the shuffle. I, I think he is the best shooter of Rainer Shine from the outside. Yes. Game one only had two attempts. He's got to have more attempts for him to be uh, effective in this game. In the meantime, we rush with Mercado, 
And that's a side Pierre Fuchs does not like to see very often happening. And that's the opposite of what Rainer Schein wants to see. Turnovers converted to points off turnovers. They have the quickness from the guards, especially if they get it from a loose ball. You know, I can hardly hear you with the music and the crowd. They're still not tired from shouting <laughs> from the first game. In the meantime, that was a nail biter. In the meantime, the foul was on Chan. And 7 to 4 is the count here with Rain or Shine ahead in the first two minutes. And Mr. Rico Mayer Hopper is in the limelight with the first free throw. Mayor Hoffer in game number one had 31 minutes of action, nine points. And the, I like your point about the bench uh, being a factor now, uh, if you're talking about pure foods, because you're not just looking at this series, you're probably looking farther down the road than the coaches will adjust quickly. They'll probably mark the yaps in this game. That's going to be very clear. Well, and, and you know that in a series, you cannot just lean on one or two guys. You have to have a contribution from different uh, members of your team. Look at this. It's Yap on the switch watching Mercado. Nearly sniped away or snatched away. John wide open. Nails it. You know, there are certain things that Pierfus did in game one which aren't working so far here in game two. Like we talked about it uh, a while ago, they were limiting Jeff Chan, making him a guy that's going to the basket. But here, early on, two open looks from the three-point line. You know the game you and Paolo covered, the Rain or Shine Coke game, remember that, at Inares? I thought that was the best energy game of Rain or Shine throughout the conference. I've never seen them so energetic. All the shots were falling in in that third quarter. They were all pumped up. I've never seen them so enthusiastic playing basketball. In the meantime, James Yap with that runner does not bite. And they like that venue, the Inares venue. You know, they haven't been so successful here at Araneta. Too many losses, in fact. Many of their losses have happened in this venue. And, and they've had many losses this conference. Uh, this is a team that uh, is getting a second chance, Ev, and uh, you know you get not you don't get many chances in basketball, and uh, they're trying to give this second chance and make make do of it. Right now they're zero of one in the series, but starting out very well here in the first quarter. In their schedule, you'll notice that they've lost five games here at Araneta. In fact, they're four and eleven or two and eleven at this venue. This shot does not work. Right now, Pure Foods doing a good job on offensive rebounds, already out rebounding their opponents. Two to nothing from the offensive glass. Make that three to nothing. Eight minutes and 37 remaining. Ten and five is the score. Rain or shine with the early surge. Norwood looks inside, sees a bit of space, launches too sharp. James Yap waiting for the offense to complete its cast. Mayor Hopper attacks seriously. That'll fall and roll out. Uh, but he is down and up again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, if we're ready, I no question. No matter what Miko Halili says, you girls look just marvelous in this calendar. You don't need a spot. Go ahead. Calendar in just a short while. I'm sure I'll get to see it. Thank you so much, Sev. I just want to talk about Rainer Shine right here. The 22 turnovers they had in the last game killed them, but also the 20 turnover points that Pure Foods had against them was the nail in the coffin. So taking care of that leather is top priority for Coach Caloy Garcia, who also put a lot of emphasis on controlling the boards. He talked to me about the team looking tired. So just yesterday, they decided to do a walkthrough. For him, what's important is for this team to come out with their heart and show that will to win. Well, they are getting a lot of inspiration from Sol Mercado, who was not supposed to play this game because he had a collision with Romela Ducal in the last game, which actually injured his right knee. But you know, he's one to believe in prayer, and he says he prayed over it, and he came out last night feeling better with that knee, so now he's playing, and he's playing rather well. Sev? Thank you very much, Patricia Bermudez. He's on. Well, this is that time of the season, yung injury sa kana yan, ano, Jason? And, and you know, they're talking about being tired, but uh, also, they, they're also thinking they want to be tired they want to keep playing tired because when you stop playing that means you're eliminated 
go home ka na nun. Oh. Tapos na yun eh. Buti nga ang uh, uh, Rain or Shine team that finished ninth in the classification climbing into the uh, quarterfinals moving over the number 16 which is Santa Lucia and also one over Coca-Cola. In the meantime, the penetration. Nice use of the body as protection. Yes, eight points. And he's been the guy that's really been attacking the uh, defense of Pier Foods. A lot of focus on guys like Mercado and Norwood, but you can't uh, really uh, back down or forget about Jeff Chad. Bit of a mismatch, not really an out of position situation for Norwood. However, Pure Foods unable to capitalize on that advantage. Seven and a half remaining. Glad you're with us on this uh, delightful Sunday. We hope it's been pleasurable for you as Norwood misses. That shot, 7 and 20 remaining. Here's Artadi scanning the floor. Artadi tries to cut up the inside. Trailing behind him was Rivas. Quickly to Kirby. Pure Foods missing from the outside. And Rainer Shine tries to set this up. Mercado says, let's use some kind of formation, but he sees a crack at the defensive wall. Here's Norwood, can elevate. Yes, good call. Galing Salabas. That sounds better in Filipino. Eh? <laughs> so, he came from the outside and moved in. Galing Salabas. Manggagaling ho kami Salabas ng Araneta. Babalik ko kami. Pagkatahas na to. Back with the seer, right on Shine jumping out in front, 12 to 6. Here in the opening quarter of game number two of the best of five involving these two teams. This is the other half of the quarterfinals. Earlier today, Talking Text climbing back from an 18 point deficit to win by the skin of their teeth. Final score was 106 104, 106 105, actually. And so Mercado has something to say about that last call. But all of that coming from the hustle of Paul Artadi, not giving up on the play, getting the ball from uh, J.R. Reyes, and uh, J.R. Reyes looks a little hurt. Is that the stat of blood that I see? In the meantime, Artadi with low fives and high fives all around. Roger is in, and therefore the yap-yap combination is on the floor already. The stars of game number one for Pure Foods, which has now fallen behind by six here. In the meantime, yes, uh, I, uh, I think they want to check on Reyes, actually. Okay, game uh, should continue. Refs are calling it close and tight on the screens this afternoon. Every little bump down there, at least here in the first quarter, being called. Reyes with his second personal, and Eddie Laura is in. Pat, go ahead, please. Patricia? To win game two, Pure Food CJ Giants know that they need to continue to take high percentage shots, like the 50 plus field goal percentages they've been delivering the past three games. Coach Ryan was just really upset about being out rebounded also in game one because it doesn't speak well of their fundamentals being the longer and taller team. Furthermore, they just know they got to continue to play great D against Seoul, Aranya, and Norwood. PJ's one, by the way, will still miss out on this game, is on a day to day basis. Rico Meyerhofer, if you guys have noticed, just injured his right right ankle and he was brought to the dugout to further check on him. Now, without 
Enrico, they're going to need KG Cañaleta in this ball game. They almost have the same role, they say, but Enrico, but Rico Meyerhofer brings a lot of energy, athleticism, and he's got a lot of hunger in him. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Patricia. And with a block and a big three-point shot, Jason, just in a matter of seconds. But a couple of things that we've seen so far. Beer Foods, what the Coach Ryan Gregoy actually said is that they have many lines of defense that can stop Sol Mercado, who actually incidentally picked up his second personal oh, foul. Yes. But after that, the other thing that we've seen is Rainer Shine continues to be hot from that three-point line. Three out of four so far, 75% uh, after going 10 out of 25 in the first first game. And this was the number one item you mentioned in your webpage. It's something we will keep a close tab on as we sail along because the lifeline of Rain or Shine is actually how well they can connect from the outside. In the meantime, some uh, them shuffles, uh, lineup changes. Aliado is in for the first time. 5.47 to go, rain or shine. With the early surge, eight points is their advantage right now. Nothing but net. And it brings them to eight. 15 eight is the count. Two for two by James Yap. 31 points. Three out of five from the three point distance in game number one. Sol Mercado trying to orchestrate. Kirby Raimundo fading away. He knew Mercado wouldn't try it, but they pay for making that late decision on who would eventually cover Mercado. Miscommunication on the part of Beer Foods, the defender of Mercado, leaving him. You have to stay home with the best score of the other side as James Yap answers very quickly. You know, the marquee players, the big time players, they like this atmosphere. They like this. Uh, scenario we're in they can shine and they can play stellar roles and i think especially if it, that's in your moniker big game james oh there, 2006 mvp shining brightly here and they come within seven Ito, from the, the guard position but you know you know you'd expect uh, all throughout the game that mercado will play some point guard then maybe plays off the ball as well especially the two guard and that would, that could really ease away the pressure on him and especially the bangkit kanina ni pat that he's also nursing a, a knee injury yes and uh, that, that's you can also have if you're uh, coach kaloy set him up setting him up off of screens if he's playing the two position and this is what rain or shine needs in the series that energy that you and Paolo covered, and they played against Coke. And the and same energy they had against Santa Lucia. And, you know, this is a guy, Norwood. He can just jump out of the gym, and he showed everyone, you know, all his God-given talent right there. Sometimes we overuse the word athleticism, but, you know, that's exactly it. And Laure, who has played a big role for this team, Oh, he likes this. It's a big shot. He likes this. That's a big shot. Beer Food's going to have to call a timeout. Lead is getting out of, out of hand. Rain or shine. Excellent start to the ball game. Ayun, nagkalituhan. Pinatugtog yung music. Tinanggal ko headset. Walang nagkaintindihan. Wala. Patay. Patay tayong lahat. This 30-second timeout was brought to you by Andy Fixum, first aid Bahai Mo Banzo, Seal Salgir. No, no choice for Pure Foods. They had to use the timeout. Yes, and uh, this lead already at 12 points, 23 points so far on the board for Rain or Shine. And they've done it by shooting very well from the field, especially from the three-point line. So far, they're 9 of 13 from the field and 5 out of 7 from threes. And they're getting high percentage shots when they run away from that three-point line. We've seen dunks. We've seen layups that they've got it so far from Pure Foods. In game number one, they hit only 10 of 25. Quite good. But uh, in the other departments, like in defense, they couldn't finish the job. 
Kirby Raimundo cleans up a little of a mess, and now we're uh, finding pure foods within 10. Only the first two points for Kirby Raimundo. They're superstars right now. James Yap already with five, and Kirby only with his first basket. Here's Norwood has been operating in that corner. Lowry snaps. The backboard attempt does not work, and the jump Giants jumble the basketball. Sometimes, Jason, you just don't know why these things are happening. You're focused, you're energized, but you have no idea why it's happening. Maybe in this timeout, they'll sort this all out. Ano guys sa sabi natin sa sabi natin na si ah, mamaya yung Yakult Slam Dunk kasi hindi pa handa yung buton ng yung daliri ng magpipindot ng buton pero ito nagising ito malaking uh, sinyalis ito para sa Raynor Shad dahil if they can get points from this particular kind of shot, the Yakult Slam Dunk Overs well for rain or shine. Because it also brings a lot of energy for this team. That's something that they have to have to be able to counteract the energy that also Pure Foods brings to the table. And that's why Ginebra at this moment could be hurting just... Uh, they're probably still some of them in the locker room. I just know they want to get out but ano, ganda nung energy nila nung game. They just lost the game. They lost by a point. On an alley oop with, with three seconds left on the clock. Nakita mo agad yun, nung nasa locker room tayo, sabi, oh, oh ganda ng lusod, sabi mo. In the meantime, back with us here. Chan open. Boom! But, very interesting for Beer Foods that Mark Finger has actually stepped away from Jeff Chan. Jeff Chan already has three triples in this game, and you have to stay home with him. Oh. You have to stay home with oh. the shooters and step away from the non-shooters. I think the big mistake you make defensively is when you think hindi papasok. Eh kaso sabi mo nga, Jeff Chan yan, markado yan. Best, sabi mo nga, best shooter na Reno Shine. Laure thought about it, doesn't make the lift. And Chan suddenly gets better respect. Penetration, Laure, stretch won't work. Could be guilty of an offensive foul. And uh, Norwood is hanging on to the rim. Maybe for protection. Good job on the part of Don Aliado, realizing where he was on the floor, saw the no charge zone, took another step out, yes. and got that offensive foul. Three point shooting, rain or shine, six of eight from the three point distance and from that same rainbow area, Pure Foods not shooting that many, only one of three. The lead is 13. This is now the biggest lead. Kirby. Kirby. You know, through the years, Kirby, aside from his basketball skills in terms of shooting, he has good hands. Pagtanga niya ng bola, ang hirap sundutin. And with the matchup that he has right now with Eddie Laure, he knows that if he just jumps up, he can see over Eddie Laure for that jump shot. Oh, absolutely. Good point there. Here's Jeff Chan. Now, Pingris says, try to shoot, sir. I've got you, Mark, and look at Aranya. Took a step too many. He had already checked the timepiece. It was down to three seconds. They had run out of time. Jeff Chan hits the bench, but not without a healthy round of applause from the Rain or Shine faithful. Good start for Jeff Chan. There's Chris Timberlake. Kirby with a huge curl, and uh, you, that was exactly what you were saying. And, and he's just too strong at the post for Eddie Laure. You see Eddie Laure trying, Laure trying to really get a good base, but the moment that uh, Kirby bumps into him, madaling madale para kay Kirby Raimundo na makalusot because of his length and his strength. And there are some players who use that contact as their full crew. Eh. Pag, pag tumama, yun ang pihit nila. Eh. And that drops in. Kirby Raimundo, of course, coming out of the Letran uh, basketball program as early as 1991. They wanted him on the SEA Games team. It went to Brunei Darussalam, one of the youngest, if not the youngest of that team, that won the gold medal then. In the meantime, Raimundo with six points. Marci Arellano, by the way, has been brought in. Naming bagong kasal dito sa Raynor China, actually, ano? Dalawa yata. Si Ryan Aranya, si T.Y. 
Open. That had a chance that circled out. Raimundo launches. Here's Roger. Roger might be guilty of the offensive foul. But you know what Roger Yap wants to do. He wants to go all the way to the basket. <laughs> yes. And Marcy Arellano, good job of, on his part to continue to slide his feet ahead of uh, Roger Yap. When Roger Yap had to create contact, and it seems right now, Yap's going to be called for either a warning. It looks like a warning right now for... Uh, yep. We had that lively lunch with the PBA, and uh, we said, "Why do? Why does the policy announcer whisper it when it's co continuous complaining?" Presumably, continuous complaining. But about three points, Alina. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's a little clearer on their part. Ala, ako alam ko. Kalit nang si sigawan mo pa. Ah, yun nga bagay. Oh, nga naman. Aranya trying to squeeze through congested traffic, and that baseline, second violation of uh, stepping on that line. You're Coach Kaloy right now. You're looking at your squad. Two turnovers for your second unit. You'd like to see more from them. In the meantime, here's Norwood. Sending it outside to Jeff Chan in our KFC assist delivery of the quarter. 887-888 is the number to dial for finger-looking good food. 48 seconds in a first quarter that has just uh, flown by us. Here's an open shot. You can't give this shot to Kirby Raimundo. He just nailed, didn't nail it, though. Foul underneath. And it's Aliado who he lets out a yow, loud yell as he is called for his first. And now Koi Banal, who is the defensive coach for Pure Foods, yells out the instructions. Para na retain American football, ano? May offensive coach, may defensive coach. Pero pang videotape coach. Editing, pang editing. Oh, si Ryan Gregorio yun na first job niya of your foods nice passing inside can they put up a shot they overcook it and Roger does not force the issue this time Pingris looking at the timepiece we're down to six seconds of this first half open and that'll do it That is important for Rain or Shine to have the first say at the end of the first quarter, Jason. And you know, they, they, had a, they had a good run, very good for their confidence. And even when Pure Foods was making a run at the end of the quarter, they still were able to stop Pure Foods' run and still have a nine point lead. Twenty-six seventeen is our score here at the start of the second quarter. We're here at the corner with Coach Ronnie Magsana to explain to us what happened in the first quarter and how you guys will remedy this. Well, they did an excellent job hitting their shots from the outside. They had six three-point made baskets, and uh, they also forced us to commit five turnovers. Uh, they won the first quarter. Now we have to come back here in the second and identify what hurt us. Uh, close out long on the three-point shooters and uh, take care of the basketball. All right, two things that I heard in the dugout. Thank you so much. Back to you guys. Well, obviously, th those are a number of things Sav, that uh, we did talk about a while ago. That uh, the turnovers, that rain or shine needs to control, and also the three-point shots, which are definitely falling right now for uh, for rain or shine. So right now, uh, Sev is on mute. So I will take over. On the on the floor right now for Pure, Pure Foods, uh, Don Aliato taking that shot. Uh, KG Canaleta, Mark Pingris, and uh, Chris Timberlake. And on the other side, it's Marcy Arellano, Gabe Norwood, Ryan Aranya, Eddie Laure, and Mark Talan. Aranya to Norwood. Pure Foods right now playing a zone and Eddie Laure who is definitely playing his best basketball here in the playoffs continues to hurt Pure Foods. Good ball movement right here for Rainer Shine then goes all the way. Don Aliado again trying to get that offensive foul but 
Eddie Laure was able to evade him in the air and uh, chance for a three-point play for Eddie Laure. And okay, I think I just went to um, I, I went to Gateway. <laughs> so, um, there, there's really something wrong with my headset. It's a terminal. Uh, Jason, just keep going. Okay, thank you, thank you, Seb. And uh, we're gonna work on that while uh, Seb is working on the on the headset. Another steal for Rain or Shine. And look at that. There's that. Drive. Oh, it's really not working. Go ahead, please. Uh, we're gonna try to uh, probably replace that headset for uh, Sef to get back on and uh, Rain or Shine, another force turnover. That's number six for Pure Foods. And the scary part is when Rain or Shine goes on that fast break and it's Norwood or Mercado in the break, they're the gu two guys that's very hard to stop on the open court. And uh, Norwood again getting another, uh, getting two free throws, which uh, has, it makes that his fifth point of the game. Let's try this. It is now 30 to 17, 10.46 to go. Mukhang uh, nag-steady down now. Okay, thank you, Jason. I just went to Gateway for a while. Uh, made sure everything, uh, everybody was there who is not interested in basketball. Wala problema, basta binili mo ako ng ano, uh, mula sana, sa Gateway. Sana, sana. <laughs> no. In the meantime, now let's talk of, adjust of adjustments. Uh, uh, Ronnie Magsanag was talking about the turnovers, the three-point shots that you had anticipated. Let's talk about some things that Pure Foods should do better here in the second quarter. Well, of course, for Pure Foods, they have to be able to move the ball better here in the uh, in the second quarter. They only had one assist in that uh, first quarter. It was actually a minor problem in game one where they didn't have a lot of assists. But if James Yap can, re can explode, just like in game one, usually you can lean on one guy, but that right there Good defense on the part of Aliado again to get another offensive foul. So have to move the ball better, and they have to find other guys to score. Maybe a guy like KG Canaleta. So far, that call has been called as evenly as possible. Uh, we've had offensive fouls on each side of the floor. We come down to below the 10-minute mark, 13 to 19. The biggest lead established by Kirkwood is 13. In the meantime... James Yap beginning to percolate here. The Pure Foods right now playing that zone defense or a 2 3 zone, recognizing the shooters and trying to get this guy out of the lane. But then, you know, Sol Mercado, he puts his head down. He's like a running back in football. Yes. Tries to see the hole, attacks the hole, and that's what, he's, that's what he did there in that zone. And he often catches people napping, you know, because it's a zone. Hindi agad nakaka-switch yung mga tao kasi yung guarding an area rather than individuals. 9 and 30 remaining. Sol Mercado, 17 points, 6 of 8 for the free throw line in game number 1. And we've got Ray back uh, stepping uh, anew on our floor. And again earlier tonight we have talk and text roaring from behind as much as 18 to take a 2 to nothing lead in their series against Barangay Ginebra. Of course, the winner of that series goes on to meet Alaska Milk. We saw Tim Cohn and Joel Banal earlier uh, serving proceedings. 31-21 is the count. And right now, watching this game is uh, Coach Shot Tankinsen and his coaching staff okay. preparing uh, for their eventual uh, semifinal opponent which will be the winner of this particular battle, the series. They're trying to go to James Chapman, get him scoring. Two big screens, one from Aliado and one from Cagnaleta. He has 12. And he's the one guy that has scored here in the quarter. He has all the seven points of pure foods. It's really a tough thing for Sol Mercado. Not only does he have to set up, he has to score. Now he's guarding the hottest player on the floor. And multitasking was never easier. And Mercado drives, 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 climbs into the shot. It won't fall in. Difficult angle, but Norwood found the way. I mean, what an advantage to have a guy coming from the guard position or small forward position that can rebound like Norwood. 
And I can sense Richard Del Rosario's disappointment in that last sequence. Richard, of course, assists that rain or shine. That was too easy for Artadi. Exactly. Nothing easy in playoff basketball. And that was very easy. No one contesting the shot of Artadi, which was actually a layup. Aranya set for a three. Ryan Aranya, three! And it's a double-digit spread again for Rain or Shine at the 8-12 mark of quarter number two. And Ryan Aranya had an open look, did not hit a three in game one. But open looks, he can kill you with that. And James Yap really had not much of a basket, looked for a foul. Patricia Bermudez was with us. Before getting his conference high of 31 points last game, James Yap admits he was impatient and was rushing his shots in previous games. In game one, in this game, he's got a clearer mind and he's able to flow better, he says. Tonight, he really anticipated being double teamed because Rainer Shine couldn't limit him off of a single coverage. So he just has to stay focused on this game, leave whatever distractions behind, and just be ready to thread the needle. Back to you, Seth. And what James is doing and the rest of Purefoot's is doing they're trying to make the offense flow quickly towards James not allowing the defense to set in and force James to go one-on-one -on -one. Uh, what we've seen is he, he's run uh, especially with when the ball is not in his hands he's not really uh, stalled the offense in this game so far because it, it is not yet time you have to run the offense and hopefully it goes to your best score and that has happened here in the second quarter and we've got a king-sized crowd here at the big dome on a Sunday joining all of you and Yap already with 14 points. 40 minutes of action, as Patricia pointed out, 31 points. Mercado. The ball will stay with Rainer Shine. No foul there. Little adjustment on the part of Coach Ryan. When Mercado's on the floor, he'd like to have Rafi Rivas there because he is the, their best line of last defense for his team. He's the, their best shot blocker. So when Sol Mercado goes to the lane, he'd like to see Rafi Rivas on the floor. He had talked about that in his post-game conference with the members of the PBA press corps when he said that we don't have only a first line of defense. We have a second man and even a third man. In the meantime, I think it's going to be a foul on uh, James, his first. And the Giants have 14 fouls. In the meantime, look at the uh, web page update. Well, right now, Rainer Shine is up in this game because they're just hitting their threes. Seven out of 12 so far. The TJ, the TJ, TJ Giants only two out of six. And uh, they take it, like we said, they take a lot of shots. What's key for them is they make a lot of them, which has happened so far. Yes. And that will create the distance as Aranya. Oh, boy. He's just finding newer and newer ways to score in that favorite area of space, which he actually started to build on when he was playing for De La Salle. He just slithers across the lane and yes. uh, finds finds a hole. That will not work for Yab. There's a tip in by Rivas. Been a while since we said that Pierfoot's got an offensive rebound. And right there, Rafi Rivas uh, being able to contribute for another possession. He has four points and they come with an eight as we say goodbye to the first five minutes of the second period. Ray back bounces it over to Chan who had to a, off to a good start. At Chan, a moment of indecision, there is a foul inside. Ryan Gregorius going bananas inside, but you know, the refs in that area, that common ground area, the refs can make a call there. All three of them, it doesn't have to be the baseline referee. But, and, and they're going to talk about this, which is the which is the right thing. Yes. But when you look at the feet of Kirby Raimundo, he was in it, he stepped up, went, went to his tippy toes, and was out of it. But right now they're going to talk about this, which I believe is the best thing. Yes. If you have different calls, see what the other one saw, and make the final decision. Well, now that you have technology available to be and uh, a change in perspective where in certain calls need to be discussed. Maybe that's for the enhancement improvement of officiating of the game. Let's see how this cookie crumbles here. Well, I think they're going to call a jump ball. I think they're going to go with a Solomonic decision, Seb. Maybe that's <laughs> best for now. And the that's what we're seeing, a jump ball. Oh, they're gonna... Each player will be given a foul, almost like a double foul situation there.
Griffiths was hoping that they were issuing a complaint about the referee who was the lead referee there who was underneath the basket and uh, anyway that area all of them can make calls there they see fit but you're right about the issue about the no charge zone area fairly confusing though yes that, that a call can both be an offensive and a blocking call but uh, we're gonna stick with that for now and it, it's part of the history of the PBA Artadi, push, 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 success! And this game is humming. Kierfoots comes within six, breaking the action. Why not? They're all huffing and puffing. on Solar TV. Now Jeff Chan of Rindershawn is actually the leading scorer for his squad, already with 11 points in the first half, and he's averaging well way below that, only 10 actually. Now he was somewhat absent in the last ball game, the series opener, and he admits that he was physically tired because he had just gotten married the night before. Now he told me that he was actually expecting not to be included in the rotation by Coach Kaloy, but Coach Kaloy fielded him in anyway. But he recovered now yesterday yesterday. Seven, Jason, over to you. Thanks a lot, Leah, and um, we were seeking clarification. We all seek clarification from Romy Guevara when there's some um, interesting point that happens. <laughs> what you learned to, from Romy, our well, technical technical consultant? Well, obviously, uh, the, the crowd was very loud, and I was just trying to get bits and pieces. I asked him um, how come uh, both uh, calls stand. He said they had conflicting calls, and uh, because they had conflicting calls and saw it differently, um, both calls stand. Okay. Because they happened, I believe, at the same time. So the best resolution is, as you said, a bit Solomonic is the jump ball. That's a flop. That's a flop. Big bail out there for, for Rainer Shine because shot clock was winding down. Excellent defense for them and uh, Paul Artadi called for that flopping. Is that a foul? Or just a just it's a flopping. warning. And then the second time we do it, I think it's a technical. But what do we call it? Just floppy. Floppy. <laughs> Flopping penalty. <laughs> oh boy! He has nine points and he has been a boost to the ch chances of Rain or Shine. And he fulfills that major point you raise in your webpage. And, and Rain or Shine is making more three point shots than two point shots so far in this game. Annalet uh, thought about it. Kirby dances in the box, will almost get it to drop, and two players drop to the deck, actually. And I like what Kirby did there. He did not sell for that three-point shot. He knew that the defense of Rain or Shine was rotating to the weak side and used the aggressiveness of the defender to go back to the middle and attack the defense, which uh, was left with uh, only Mark Talan. They must have put some magic potion in our headsets. You sound so much better now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you should really consider play-by-play -play, uh, when Richard is not around. And uh, KFC delivery assist in the quarter, and that's uh, teamwork for you. 887-8888. Number to call to remember when you want finger looking good food. Boy, this is quite a game. Rain or shine ahead slightly at seven. Largest leads to the 13. And going back to that assist that we saw a while ago, remember we talked about how Pure Foods only had one assist early in this uh, second quarter. Now they've got four, so at least they picked up the pace somewhat. They're trying to spread it a little better, helping out each other here. Sean with problems on the shot clock, lets it fly. That three try will not work. And Pure Foods pushing the offense of Rainer Shine back so far. Look at that crossover by James. Kirby. Hello, mo pag maganda yung crossover ni James yap. Kuming sa papa sa kinam buelo niy. Ray back thought about it and Ray Mundo says, "Not anymore, sir. You are going to be watched." Jeff Chan breakdown in the offense. Mercado wants to bring it from way outside to the other side. Norwood launches. Talan unable to secure it. Longer reach by Rivas. James Schaap against Solomon Mercado. Kirby. Oviana. 
You know, we all need this break, and Kirby's given us one. Sa maraming lugar, binabato ng chinelas yun eh. Kaya, tayo, big time tayo. Yan. May, meron tayong malaking patpat. <laughs> eh, shumut pa! Oh, may tiririt dito. <laughs> <laughs> yun ang tawag doon eh. Sa, sa bilyar, ano. 4.26 remaining, 41.34. Yun ang sakto shot na gagamitin natin for tonight. <laughs> In the meantime, here's Mercado. Artade trying to keep in step, lost in the maze. Mercado has the right thing in mind. I will drive all night long. And they set up very well because they left only one guy, Rafi Rivas, to beat because they had two screens up top. So El Mercado going the opposite way, and no one was there. Rem remember, they want Rafi Rivas there as their last night of defense. Doesn't mean that they're gonna be successful having them having him there all the time. Mercado taking care of the first and now Roger Yaps back in. Big difference for Roger Yap in this game. Remember how big his performance was in game one. So far he is scoreless. And not only is Roger Yap scoreless, said the entire bench of Pure Foods scoreless so far. It's been the starters who have carried the brunt. Roger Yap in game number one, 17 points and 24 minutes of action. That does not work. And Rainer Shine almost uh, indecisive under the basket as to who would push it up. Norwood uh, starts in the dance. Here's Ray back. Reyes. That is just such a welcome sight for Reina Shine, one of the big the guys that have struggled all year. J.R. Reyes, they're still hoping that they can continue to have a big run so that J.R. Reyes can come back. Back with us here at the uh, Araneta Coliseum in Cubao, Quezon City. And this is the Fernandez family, and they are enjoying the games. And they'll go home with smiles because they've got special uh, delight from Mr. Donut. Up on surprise. This uh, first half is down to 3 and 29. Underneath, Rayback getting a chunk of that Revis attempt. Saul with a shake and break! And again, now Rainer Shine. Remember, they started this game very well. Right now, you want to continue to do that, or you want to continue to uh, finish this game strong, or this second, this second quarter. So when you go back to the locker room, you're gonna stay positive. Keep in mind that Rainer Shine has not beaten Pure Foods at all in the course of the conference, and that is back-to-back -back hits, which now gives Rainer Shine its biggest lead of the game, a 14-point spread talked about utilizing the bench step this is a key for pure foods obviously hasn't been there so far there's zero so far from the bench KT Caloneta has taken the last three shots it has not gone in Rainer Shine on the other hand getting eight points so far from that bench Mercado's pass anticipated this is almost similar to that run they had against Coca-Cola in the third quarter in the second half of that game you'd covered and they were really burning Coca-Cola and Coca-Cola had no response. It's now up to Pure Foods to be able to make some uh, a bit of tinkering in both their defense and their offense. Maybe that bench has to step in here and step up. And I, and I believe young teams is very dependent on confidence and right now Rainer Shine beaming with confidence already putting up 48 points has their biggest lead at 14 and they're going to have a chance to add on to it. Sabihin James yan. Iniwasan ko na nga. Naki-excuse me na nga si Jeb. Napaul pa ako. There is no worse feeling yes. than, uh -huh. than going up when a guy fakes up and you know that you're gonna get called for that foul when the moment he goes up to the air. Eh, ilong ko na nga ito si James. Kalayo ko gin sa iya. Oh, hindi nga nga man paul pa ko. And of course, he is from Negros. And uh, Pat, what do you got? 
I just want to talk to you about Sol Mercado. He was only able to take 10 shots last game and admits Pure Foods did a great job trapping him. This game, if you guys have noticed, he's been trying to do a better job attacking that trap, especially off the pick and roll. The traps really took away his aggressiveness in the last game. And he's been the kind of leader who, when he shows aggressiveness, it actually rolls out into the team. It becomes contagious. So he knows he's got to be in the zone all the time throughout this entire game. Back to you, Seth. And you're right, Pat. This leadership uh, has been manifested in this game so far that's why they're leading by as much as they are right now a 15-point lead Samantala our referees make this decision which Caloy Garcia is seeking clari clarification from Rayback with his third foul now that's huge for rain or shine because uh, Mike Rayback is, is their best shot blocker in from from that big man spot and when you put Rayback on the floor, when the other team plays zone, you have another shooter which happens to be a center and opens up the defense of the opposing teams. And he has already made some connections. In the meantime, a 30 is being requested and a 30-second timer. This is, all, as always, brought to you by Handy Picks on first aid number Bahay Mo. Score stands at 49 to 35. And Seth, so, just going back to the things that uh, Pat had talked about earlier, like about Sol Mercado having to play at a certain level, and if he doesn't play at that level, it's manifested or, or, or magnified. It's the same uh, thing with guys like Paul Artadi. They are energy guys. A guy like Ronald Tubit, if they're not playing with a lot of energy and are trying to step away or uh, hide from the basketball, it's quite evident, especially for Sol Mercado because he's playing that point guard spot. And he's one of their best scorers. If he shies away from aggressiveness, like we said, kitang kita talaga ng tao at kitang kita ng teammates niya. If you don't have confidence from that one guy, it will trickle down down to two, three, four, and five. And whenever you prepare against Rainer Shine, he is always a mismatch problem. So Rainer Shine says, "Okay, we'll make him a mismatch for you. Be, be it your problem, not ours." But uh, the traps that Patricia was talking about so evident in that first game and successful in fact for Pure Foods. Two minutes to go. Here's Mercado. They switch over. Double coverage. Laure. Chan open. Three bites. It does not. All oh, big steps. Now guys like James have all these wing guys. When you have a big guy on his heels, you know that you've got something good in store for you. And James Yap taking J.R. Reyes all the way to the hole. You know, when James Yap is playing so well, the hand signals of Roy Lopez are totally useless. He has to use ball pen and paper <laughs> to tell me he has 16 points. Because Roy has only 10 fingers in his hand and a ball pen in each one, by the way. Roy Lopez is our scorer. And in the meantime, here's the scorer of Pure Foods, James Yap. A minute and three remaining in the first 24. They do make foul bait the expedition. I can go on a pure foods, you know. For, especially for Roger, the app in the middle of the middle of the middle of the middle He knew that he wasn't going to be able to jump over Gabe Norwood, but he also knew that he can use his guile, and that's exactly what he used. And Norwood was saying, my fault, I think he made a mistake defensively, ended up with the first foul, and Yap takes care of the first. And Pure Foods comes within 10. Glad you're with us earlier tonight, talking text. Now with a 2-0 lead in their own series, they hang on and win on Wednesday. Alaska Milk waiting for them. Less than a minute. Oh, big leap, but no conversion. Here's Mayor Hopper. Congestion. And Raimundo had nowhere to pass, nowhere to go. He was all bottled up. Rainer Shine, not a big team, but a good thing that they're doing. Every time that ball reaches the paint, three guys coming in together and going for help defense. And that is where you see 
examples of how the team defense can be employed. Have the all on a one on one basis. In the meantime, a foul from the rear could be Pingris with the foul. Paul Artadi showing, showing signs of being a future coach, already standing up at the referee's whistle. You know, a training dinner. And Pingris uh, asking, asking, asking. Can you imagine the old days of the PBA? And I'm going to say I've seen that. Baka ano pa sa bimwe? You know, there was no talking, talking uh, with the referees. No, no explanation. No, 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 well, life has improved, I guess. There's an opportunity to seek clarification at least. It doesn't change the call really. Like we said, in basketball, players have the final word, but in the end, the referees have the final say. And because they have the only whistles <laughs> available. 12 seconds remaining. Nine point lead, Rain or Shine will come out shining here. But very quietly said, Pure Foods making this little Foods run to close out yes, this actually. half. It was 49 to 34, biggest lead of Rain or Shine. At about uh, two minute and a half mark, and Pure Foods has come back, chance to putting it down to seven, and th that lead is very manageable yes. coming into uh, coming up out of halftime. And if Rain or Shine comes out very flat at the top of the third quarter, could be ripe for some pouncing by the TGA Giants, who lead this series after taking Game 190 to 85. Very interesting what Pure Foods would do after this free throw. It'd be nice if. They can actually deny Mercado because there's not a lot of ball handlers after Mercado. You know that if he gets the basketball, you're going to be in trouble. And Laura hoping to get it to Mercado. Chan lets it fly. Yes! They'll check it, of course. But you can tell. Definitely had a lot of time. And again, it's that three point shot coming out of the inbound. No one realizing where Jeff Chan is. And that's Jeff Chan's fourth, fourth three-point shot. And quickly, Leah Cruz will check the barometer of this team game. And that is Saul, uh, yes, Saul Mercado. Mercado sorry. Yes, that is Saul Mercado. Now, Saul, you guys just came out from the very beginning with great energy, great intensity. Looks like you really want to make up for game one, despite having such a grueling schedule. We just want, I mean, just like you said, we want to come out with energy, try to hit them early. Thought they'd be a little confident off the win, so if we could hit them early and get a big lead, we'd be all right. Now you're actually playing injured today. You almost didn't play your leg is injured. How's it doing right now? Uh, uh, Coach Alex prayed for me last night, and God healed my knee, so it feels good right now. All right, good luck in the second half. Now we're going to take a break. We're going to be back with more basketball action right here on Solar TV. Did you know that to produce one ton of paper, we need to cut down 17 trees? The more trees we cut down, the more we're prone to landslides and floods. Let's save lives. Let's save our trees. Let's reduce. Recycle. And reuse papers. A friendly reminder from the PBA and Solar TV. We gotta learn to reduce, reuse, recycle. You know, the trend of the evening and even using the first game as the barometer is one team will have a run and uh, the other team will try to crawl back into the game. You're right about the point you made that Pure Foods is trying to inch its way back into contention towards the end portion of that first half, uh, Jason. Well, Raider side we built everything early on in this game. And uh, for Raider side, they, Solomon got it said it very well. They wanted to start strong. They wanted to show Pure Foods that they're gonna, not going to back down. And they were able to build a big lead, and now it's Beer Foods' turn to show that they have enough fight in them to come back into this game. And I think we're going to take a look at your web page and uh, check what everybody did in that first half of play. Well, right now we're going to look at uh, the web page of Rainer Shine. We talked about them hitting their threes, and they've done an excellent job of that so far. 50% from three point range, while the Giants only two out of 12. And the big thing there is Rainer Shine actually had more three-point shots compared to two-point shots and if you're, you can make your threes that's a big deal next up is to control their turnovers yes they've had eight and uh, also and uh, also pure foods but that's a little less than what they had in the first game they had, in the first game they had 22 turnovers i i feel as long as they keep that in step or at least uh, uh, try to get a little under pure foods they should be uh, served in good stead finally 
They had to control Pure Food's double threat. James Yap already with 16 points, and Kirby has 11. Those two guys have, have carried Pure Foods, but Kirby Raimundo is not shooting very well from the field. And let's scroll up and take a look at the other side of the uh, ledger and see how Pure Foods uh, did. Beat the bully was a uh, nice title you put. Well, and they, they tried to bully Rain or Shine, especially from the boards, having six more rebounds compared to Pure Foods, uh, rather to Rain or Shine. But that's the only thing that they did well. Other than that, they failed in every category. They wanted to utilize their bench depth. They are the stronger bench, at least on paper, but it hasn't come out so far. Only two points coming from the bench, and that was the two points off Roger Yap. Other than that, uh, they had nothing from KG Canaletta and all the other guys that came from the bench. Rain or Shine, on the other hand, they got eight from their bench. And finally, they had to take away Rain Sol Mercado. Only, uh, rather, Mercado had nine points, he had two assists, he had zero turnovers, and he's shooting 50% from the field. And one quick point before we go into this gap, Pure Foods needs to keep up, step up the energy against this Rainer Shine team that's down in the series. And, and that's the key word, energy. Right now, Rainer Shine is a team with more energy, and Pure Foods, even if they have the superstars, they're all about energy. You look at guys like um, Artadi, you can look at guys like Meyerhofer, you look at guys like Pingris, they have to bring the energy. If they don't bring the energy, they're going to be in trouble. Well, this energized second half will be ready for you. We'll still scroll through the web page in the second half, and it's 52 44, 41 rather, is where we will take off from. is about to start right here at the Big Dome. I'm Patricia Bermudez. He's on with these insights. Rain or shine, according to Coach Richard Del Rosario, said that they need to make a few adjustments, particularly on defense. They have to do a better job, obviously, and James and Kirby, but they were proud on the fact that they did limit the support crew. They have to stop Pure Foods transition, where they get a lot of layups and foul shots, but they also have to continue to shoot well from the outside. George Galland, on the other side, said they need to do a better job defending the three-point area and locating the shooters, like Rayback and Chan. Also, stopping Soul's penetration is a must. This is not a Kirby and James show on offense, they say, so the other guys have to contribute. What they're going to be doing right now is they're going to try to fuel up this bench a little bit more. Back to you, Jason and Seth. That's correct, Pat. And uh, you were talking about the shooting from three-point distance. Rainer Shine hitting 50%. And that percentage continues to percolate for Rainer Shine. They just talked about how they had to defend that three-point line and they haven't done it. Oh boy, this second half starting all oh, also energetic like a house on fire. Uh, you, you've been in the locker room. Uh, the players actually storm out of the locker room. I've seen too many sports movies or is that something you just don't talk about or people just uh, feel the energy actually. But definitely after a nice talk from, uh, from the coaching staff if it's nice at all, remember. <laughs> remember, it, it can be harsh, but after I talk in, in the dugout, uh, the, the players, uh, they really, it, it's a its a chance to recharge, and uh, you can see it right here with the five on the floor on both teams. In the meantime, that shot by Kirby Raimundo does not fall in. It's a 12-point affair, and that ball will stay with Rain or Shine. Again, earlier today, talk and text with a 2-0 lead in their series, winning against Hineba, coming from behind, winning 106 to 105. It's a score I'll have to repeat many times because some people may have had a day outside. The Hinebra fans may not like to hear that score anymore, but uh, we have to do our jobs. In the meantime, well, that shot does not work. But I like the fact they're going to Jeff Chan here. And they're uh, trying to get the three-point shot going. And that's that's just coming from all the confidence he's garnered from the first quarter. Actually, I like this play as well right here for Beer Foods. Use Mark Pingris' strength and force the players off uh, Rainer side to play defense at the post. Norwood spearheading the attack. Jeff Chan in the first half, four of six from the three-point distance. Thought about it, swings it in closer. Here's Reyes with an open attack. Yes. Now everything is falling for Rainer side. Right there, Pure Foods did a good job of running at the three-point shooter and not running out at the guys that they feel can't make the shot. And J.R. Reyes right now, he's also contributing for the three-point line. Penetration by Pingris does not work, and Norwood blocks the rebound. Norwood already uh, with a ton of rebounds. Undergoes stuff. Oh! 
Lead is 15. Pingre stops. Lays it up. No. No. Wala talaga sila makuha sa bench nila because Pingris came out of that bench. He's starting in this quarter. Had gimmies. Cannot control or could not produce from all those gimmies. And now they've given a big lead to Rain or Shine, a 17.1. Rain or Shine can do no wrong here at the start of this second half. Pure Foods limited to just two points. It's an 8-2 to two run by Rain or Shine. You know, just a, a little story about uh, Reyes in the hallway when uh, the first game was still being played. He was practicing his jump shot, actually. Shooting it against the wall. Parang tennis player with a bang against the wall. Just trying to establish his form. Maybe it is really helping him in this game. And now Pure Foods can't buy a basket. That nail one. Searching for one. Here comes Reynard Shine. Chan three. Reyes battling. Chan and company have a chance to reset. Nice pass and hello. Is that a give and go? Mercado with 11. And even broken plays right now yes. are turning out to be good plays for Rain or Shine. They need a basket right now, talking about Pure Foods. And they've well missed their last six attempts. That's right. Mercado's dribble broken up. He didn't see somebody from behind. Here's Arcade. He might give them a layup. Yes. Now Pure Foods will have to switch on that defense they like to talk about because they are now being buried by a rain or shine team that's hitting on all cylinders. And as Jason pointed out, even the broken plays are working for the Elasto Painters. Saul. Saul and Hart and Saul and everything else. It's a three. He has 14. Nothing you can do right now if you're Pure Foods when they're hitting those type of shots. You don't want to run out on Saul Mercado and make him drive to the basket because he can hurt you there. But if he's going to hit those kind of three-point shots, you might even have to double him from the outside. And now Rainer Shine outscoring Pure Foods 13-4 in the course of this third quarter. running back, ulo that almost had a chance. Lead pass. Yes, why not? A Yakult slam dunk. Ako natat na natuto ako sa mga pros. Wala problema kung may snap back. Natatawa ako sa mga ibang kababayan natin. Papunta sa isang gym. Para snap back ba? Alam mo ida dunk. Kasi hindi hila yung net. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> we have a timeout and we will be back in a moment with seven minutes to play. The big problem of Pure Foods in that first half was their bench did not produce. We'll check out first is Yakult Slam Dunk. We're going to check on that stat about the bench. Yes, a fine Yakult Slam Dunk. Now, what's our situation on that bench uh, scoring, uh, Jason? That's still two points for them. And here, KG Canaleta, he's one of those guys coming from the bench. And they cannot get anything from that small forward position. Guys like KG Canaleta, guys like Rico Meyerhofer, guys like Mark Pingris, these guys have not been able to put it in, put in the points for the TJ Giants. And we're coming down to 6 and 46 in the third chapter. Gabe Norwood attacks, draws two defenders, is fouled upon entry. You know, Rain or Shine is getting production from here, there, and everywhere. From players you didn't expect to be contributing, and they're getting everything uh, going here in this game. In the meantime, time to check out this KFC assist delivery of the quarter. Nice dish off. Uh, that's a delicious move. Enjoy watching the PBA with fingers in delicious food. 887 8888 number to dial.
Terry and Raymond enjoying the action. Passionate basketball men, the owners of uh, Reno Shine. Oh, yes. I like the way he's developed a, a three-point shot here in the PBA. And, and I really feel that uh, Canaleta offensively is really key because without P.J. Simon, he's one of the few guys in that bench that can create his own shot. Oh, tough angle to work with. Sol Mercado, the sole train is going berserk, 16 points. Medjuna Babantens, James Jeff has not had that many touches here at the top of the third. Double team on Yap. Ball is momentarily lost. Shot clock coming down to seven. Roger outside to Cagnaleta. When it's downhill, it's downhill really all the way. But, you know, Griffiths needs to switch it on defensively nowhere else because the bench isn't producing. And in a way, right now, they're getting pushed back by Rainer Shine. Guys are uh, having to uh, shoot from the three-point line, which hasn't been successful for them. Jeff Chan running out of bullets has not hit a three here in the third. Roger, and out. Roger Rapp with four points. It's Norwood bringing it up. They lead by 17 with five minutes to play in the third. Laure likes that quarter court shot. Can't nail it though. Roger looking at James. Roger going all the way. Ooh. Hijacked by Norwood. Change of a shot. Shot clock at 12. James. No. Daniela rebounds. Now this is pure food strength. They can get offensive rebounds and they should attack the glass. They're not shooting very well from the field, but they have the ability to get offensive rebounds. Rayback beaten with that lay-in. 15 is the distance. Mercado rejected. Mayor Hopper with a look. That won't bite though. All starts with defense. We talked about how Pure Foods is having trouble containing rain or shine right there in that play. Rico Meyerhofer closing it down. Last line of defense was the best line of defense. And now James Yap pushed it on the other side. And Pure Foods now on their turn to make their run here in the third. basketball, no? He's a uusbong, he's a luluso. As James Yap cans the first. Chance to slide into our Yakult slam dunk. Excellently done by Rivas. James Yap taking care of two charities. They come within 13. Sal Mercado. Keep in mind, Pure Foods has won all their three games against Raynor Chan in the course of the conference. That will drop, or will it not? That's in the. Well, that's going to be an offensive foul. Yes. Rico Meyerhofer making a difference defensively. This time around, did not have to go up for the block, moved his feet. But right there, good good job on Enrico Meyerhofer's part. But what Coach Kaloy is saying, he did not get him squarely for that charge. Yes. Thirteen is the distance. Roger. A lot of shoving and pushing downstairs. Just good box out on the part of Brian Aranya. Boy, teammates before. Undersized, <laughs> but able to. Oh, look at this! You know, Pure Foods is paying very dearly for watching the Soul Train in action. That'll work. 
But teams right now opening it up with speed. Mercado right there, no one at the bottom of to clean up the mess. And on the other side, they push it as well. Talking about the TJ Giants. And you can see KG Canaleta getting his two points. And he's got a chance for a three-point play. Hindi niya to, hindi na siya niyo eh. KG na. Big boy na First got to know him, of course, when he played for UE, of course. Many of those guys coming from that generation. Many of his teammates uh, playing here in the uh, PBA, of course. James Yap, Paul Antadi, Ronald Tubig. 71-59. In third quarter, talaga is the definitive quarter. Right? It'll tell you what kind of fourth you'll have. And I anticipate we're going to have a slam bang affair in that fourth, although it's still three minutes and 15 away. Sol Mercado. That's over and out. Kaloy and Richard. Now there's a number of things. I remember it's how Sol Mercado gets booed there. There's a number of things that uh, you have to get out of getting um, uh, jeered by, by the opponents. One is the only people that get booed are the people that are playing well. <laughs> and guys like Sol Mercado, Mac Mac Cardona, they're the guys that get booed. And if James Yap was on another team, he would definitely get booed because he is making and bringing his team back in this quarter. Absolutely, and this game taking on a new face. Watch this. Up, up, and away. Kaboom, boom, boom. And a 30-second timeout has been requested. It has been granted. A 30-second timeout brought to you by Handy Fix and First Aid Nambahaimo. Bonds all, seals all, and rain or shine needs something like this to uh, sort of remedy some of the uh, potholes and uh, lapses in their defense. A quick run right now by Pierre Fuse. They really struggled in scoring, especially early in this third. Yes. And all of a sudden, guys like Canaleta and uh, James Yapa trying to opening, open things up for their team. And uh, But it was also the defense, uh, Sev. Uh, you know, when you play good defense, your energy level goes up, and guys uh, and Rico Meyerhofer epitomize the uh, excellent defense that they have. In the meantime, the PBA uh, is a game oh, and a, it's a place for friends. And these guys are going to enjoy the new KFC Crushers now with new flavors and the calendar as well. No truth to the rumor that we are the April boys. <laughs> Nico says we are in the March Madness page. In the meantime, here comes Rain or Shine. Heavy block. Mayor Hoffer collects his first foul. Very interesting to see how Rainer Shine is going to close out this third quarter. Oh, yes. The pep in the step is on Pierre Fuse's side right now yes. because they're the team with a run. Rainer Shine, the team that has to make a basket. You were saying, and that has bailed them out many times, and they're enjoying that with 21 points now from Mercado. Right now, Pure Foods doesn't know what to do. They tried man to man to stop him. He's beaten them off the dribble. Yes. They went to a zone defense, and he still got open. Rico Mambo's inside and takes care of business, collects a foul as well. At grabbing ay sa guta natin ngayon ang puntos on both ends. We've seen the scoring come up to a premium, and it seems that both teams aren't missing anymore. Good pass right there in the part of Canaleta, and it's all about the leaping ability and the ability to stretch of Rico Meyerhofer. Our scorer Roy Lopez telling me that Kalan was guilty of the foul there, his second, and Meyerhofer takes care of cutting it down to nine. We're down to the last two and ten of chapter number three. Quarter final action here on the KFC PBA Philippine Cup. Aranya parks the inside, loses his dribble, and a foul in the box. James Yap with his third, uh, Jason. And, and the, when it comes to basketball, what they usually say is to work inside out. You have you, you feed your big man, then you shoot from the outside. What Rainer Shine, because of their excellent shooting, has done is now they're getting respected from the outside and guys are being able or having opportunities to drive. Did they get a timeout? 
Yes, it looks like in it. time. Because there was a rejection and there was a regaining of possession. And a 30 second timeout will be utilized. Chance for me to tell you that yes, that guy is hard at work and handy fix some first aid and by Moban. So seal all. Big time. This timeout right here is the second 30 second timeout of Rainer Shine. That would leave them with nothing in the fourth quarter, only full timeout. So uh, if this game is close, there's going to be a lot of decisions that a young team's going to make because they've already burned a lot of timeouts here. And they're going with a lineup that has been reduced, of course, and you've got, you've got to worry about the fatigue also. Uh, that's also an issue when you shorten the lineup in the playoffs. 74-65 is the count here. I'm not going to question our director's good mood tonight. That will not work. Layup. No matter how many pretty ladies you put on camera, Francis Opilio, our director, the Yap boys are in focus. Aranya. It's a seven point game. Block on Talan's attempt. Here comes Pure Foods. And another big block by Rico Meyer Hopper. James Yap, almost but not quite. It's in the hands of Raynard Shaw, and we rush to the other side. A minute and seven remaining. Aranya open. Three with bites. It's over the buckle. Concern here for Rainer Shine is they've shot so well from the three point line all game. They're close to 50%. At what point do they come back to earth and start missing? Their last couple of three point attempts, their last two were both misses. The only one in their last four was a make by Sol Mercado. And you know, this is a rhythm team. When they have three point conversions, they usually have nice blood flowing from their veins and sort of deserted them as of now. 50 seconds remaining. Artadi pops out. Penetration. Yes! You have to admire Paul Artadi realizing the situation. We look at that lineup. There's not a lot of scorers right there. He knows he's quicker than his man. Creates for his team just coming out of the bench. And right now, Pure Foods has erased a huge lead here in the third quarter, was, which was up all the way till 20. Yes. Jeff Chan with his fourth personal, and Paul Artadi saying, This is my space now. I created this and told the Rain or Shine team, Wow, the mind game is on. Huh? <laughs> and, 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 you know, the lineup of Pure Foods right now, no James Yap. No Kirby Raimundo. Usually, this is a spot for P.J. Simon, but we know P.J. Simon is injured. Yes. So guys like Paul Artadi are going to have to put in their points, and he just put in one basket right there. And although he missed that free throw, <laughs> this is a five right now that defensively is going to give Rain or Shine some problems. Parang naabuta ng Pure Foods yung napapahagod na yung Rain or Shine, ano? Naabuta na nila. Unti-unti. And you were saying that they did try a bit of that towards the end of the first half. And somehow they've overlapped in terms of the energy barometers. Chan with Artadi swarming all over him like a pest. Three on the shot clock. Oh, big bucket, a clutch hit. By Norwood, that's a rally breaker. And it was such a tough shot because every move was contested. Even that jump shot was contested. Pamatay soon again, 16 points, and we're down to the final 10 seconds of game number two. Roger changes directions in the air. Two seconds remaining. Aranya, will he have a decent shot? Reynolds Shine surviving that surge of pure foods towards the end of the third quarter. But who will have something to say in the fourth quarter? Game two, far from over, a final chapter still has to be written.
had a 20 point lead throughout this ball game, but now it's down 76 71 here at the start of the fourth. And Coach Richard Del Rosario will now explain to us how they can remedy the problem here in the fourth quarter. Well, the problem is when our shots went in at the start of the third quarter, that's all the shots we took. We didn't attack the basket anymore. So when we started missing, we had a problem. Beef Roots had a chance to go in transition. Defensively, our problem was we were allowing them to attack the lane and meet them deep inside the lane. We have to meet them uh, high so that we can stop the ball and stop the momentum. All right, appreciate it. Good luck to you, Seth. Thanks a lot, Richard and Pat. And that uh, sort of explains uh, what happened in that third quarter. And uh, suddenly it's 76-74. Who had that first basket? Uh, was it Canaleta? Yes. And they're now within two. You were right over the fact that there was a 20-point lead by Rain or Shine at the 7.56 mark of the third. But now that's a part of ancient history. That's already in the PBA Museum, but look at this. Another good defensive stop on the part of Pierfus. Another drawn charge as we look at the quarter scoring. Third quarter, obviously the most entertaining. Lots of points on the board, 30 to 24. And uh, the Giants taking uh, a lot of those uh, points at the latter part of that third quarter. Now, if you're rain or shine, the last thing you want to happen is for panic to just set in. Something you have to manage at this point. Artadi wreaking havoc on whatever mindset rain or shine has right now. Open shot. And Delon blocks the rebound. Mercado looking for help downstairs. Laure throws a bad, bad pass. Sinubukan ni Artadi Gulangan and Norwood did bite. You know, because in, in the peripherals of Laura, he knew that Paul Artadi was going to go for that steal. Had to put a little bit more height into it, but just a bit too much. Seventy-six, seventy-four opportunity for the Giants to be able to tie this ball game. Lead it with a three. Roger Yap has changed the mood of this ball game. He's rejected. He recovers. He ties up this contest. And he, it seems that he likes playing against Rain or Shine. He had a great game or a very good game in the first game. And in today's in here and here in the second game, he has brought back Pure Foods. Pure Foods faithful, really hollering. And I think they've now, I can now say they've gone to that three-point well a little too often here in the second half. Beer Foods doing all of this with James Yap on the bench and Kirby Raimundo on the bench. They're hoping that this five can still be fueled by adrenaline and so far, adrenaline has taken them far. Ty, this is almost a mirror image of that first game tonight we had. <laughs> also, talk and text coming back from a big deficit. Oh yes, 106-105, I mean biggest lead, this is Ocho, Hinebra, there's a foul. Nine forty-four remaining. You can see etched on the faces of the players a bit of the stress of this game. And we know we long that for continuous complaining. In the meantime. Start of the game when we talked about the web page. The thing that we wrote was poise under pressure. And right now, rain or shine under pressure. And we have to see if they, they're gonna come out of it with some poise. Boy. Misses. Look at the bench. Suddenly, Pure Foods was, has come to life in that area. Now he's gonna, they're going to say that Canaleta came from outside, but now he took about a good two steps before he went inbounds. Ball with sticks.
Action back ball game currently knotted at 76, 990 to go. That's not there anymore for them. Very hard to remain shooting at around 50%. Right now, the misses are starting to come in for rain or shine. But that look was a good look. As yes, long as it's yes. a good look, it's part of their game plan, they still have to take it. Because they shoot that very often, and it's part of their game, they will continue to shoot that. A foul on the knee. In the first half, Rainer Shine nailed 9 of 18, and here in the second half, they're shooting 4 of Tell from the three-point zone. 4 out of 12, still a respectable amount. Anything yes. that's about 33 to 35 is right about the actual average of Rainer Shine. So right now, they're going back to their average, starting to miss. But it's the context in when they've been heaving it. But you, I agree with you 100%. When they fire that three, they'll uh, continue to fire that three. And the thing is, confidence after missing it. Right now, it's not going in as often as it did in the first yes. half. But what's important, if you're Rainer Shine or a player for Rainer Shine, after you miss, you still have the confidence to shoot it again or not get away from your game. Pumapasok na rin ang pagod at nervyos. Nag-miss na tayo sa free throws. Both sides missing two of two of the in their last sequences. Rain or shine. That attack to the basket has been clearly taken away. Mercado forced the crack of a exactly. three. That's a four shot. We talked about taking good shots. That's not a good shot. Pure Foods right now, they're going to need some offense on the other end, especially on a half court set because they cannot get anything going. So right now, they're going to bring in James Yap, which can create the shot and has had another big game with 21 points. Tied at 76. I sound like a broken CD. <laughs> Kanina pa yung tied eh. Kanina pa yan. Rico Meyerhofer thinking about it. Escapes. And Reyes with knee contact. J.R. Reyes knew what Rico Meyerhofer wanted to do. He wanted to go to the basket. But at that height, Rico Meyerhofer, he has more quickness than most guys playing the power forward and the center spot. Last time up, Meyerhofer missed two charities. Now he does not fail. He makes this, and Pure Foods is in the lead. It's been quite a climb, but they're in the lead. Keep in mind, the Giants lead the series after taking game one, 19 to 85, and they are ahead by two. Mercado, Chan. Shot clock at eight. Mercado starts his drive. Access denied. Norwood corner shot. Yes! And Norwood has hit two big shots under extreme pressure. We saw a jump shot a while ago, and that shot contested by the 6 7 Rafi Rivas. Rain or shine hitting big shots right now. Because the rain or shine, it was like rain after too much sunshine, or sunshine after too much rain. Mayor Hoffer says, Let me try. Oh! <laughs> He has hit their last five points. He has 14. And he doesn't take a lot from there. That's only his 11th attempt of the season. And he actually shoots decently. He's 30% yes. from there. And once he gets a good feel and a lot of time, he makes it just like what we saw there. I think he'll learn quickly that many times he will be open. Might as well master that shot. Norwood's attempt, and he was fouled by Cañoneta. Could be three free throws. I'm not sure. Poor foul on the part of Cañoneta. They've been playing good defense. That time around, a little bit over eager. Brings uh, Norwood to the free throw line. And he'll be shooting two, not three. And Rainer Shine will utilize a timeout back in a moment. The table has been turned. Pure Foods by two. And back with us here, and uh, we have a bit of a lull just before we reassume action. It gives me a chance to tell you about our Mr. Donuts Wachto shot. 
Buong Pilipinas, Mr. Donut na, limang piso lang, swak mo. And this guy just knows how to make those swak to shots. Leah, join us please. Next up, now an interesting little tidbit for all James Yap fans out there. Before every game, syempre kakain si James Yap sa bahay. Kailangan daw may sabaw yung dish katulad ng bulalo. It's a must for him. Tapos kapag finals daw, pasok sila sa finals, nagpapaluto naman ng tinolang manok. Other times, nag-shoot around yan with baby James. This ball game, they played computer games and watched Michael Jackson together on YouTube. Back to you guys. And they must have checked out that uh, choreographed dance of the Cebu inmates, which I saw at Rockwell uh, plant earlier today. And quite a feat. In the meantime, Norwood has been carrying the load here. Three free throws ba? Mukhang binigyan. Three free throws. Ano? Well, monster numbers. 21 points, 15 rebounds. Coming from that uh, small forward spot. And the lead has changed hands and has returned to rain or shine. So yung kanina sabi natin, two lang, mukhang tatlo ang binigay na free throws. Ano, huh? And the meantime, basketball continues here in the PBA. Seven minutes remaining. Roger. It'll go the other way. And Gabe Norwood making a difference. He saw a while ago how he's done it offensively with 21 points there defensively. Putting the ball back and making it hit the feet of Rico Meyerhofer. Quickly not to pat. Coach Kaloy was fine-tuning the offensive flow of his squad earlier in the huddle. They have to move the ball first before they attack. But the options to kick out to the wings off of the penetration have to show. So everyone's got to be moving. They're trying to isolate on Rico. So whoever the defender is has to move his feet a little bit more. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Patricia. He's on. In the meantime, a foul. From the rear, the man at the back with the over-the-back foul. Rico Mayer Popper collects number two. The one guy we haven't seen a lot of in this game, Kirby Raimundo. Oh yes, now that you mention it, huh? Well, he went to the bench about the middle or the uh, just about the middle of the third quarter, and since then has not come back. J.R. Reyes is begging for the ball because he had already sealed his man there. You were talking of Kirby; he's on his feet now. But a recycling of the offense for Rain or Shine. That is not what Pure Foods is built. They're a team that clears defensive glass. And in this possession, they've given the third look for Rain or Shine. Reyes, corner. Almost had a chance. It circles out. A chance for Pure Foods to have their second taste of the lead. They're allowing Roger Yap to take charge of point guard chores. Mayor Hoffer hit the three earlier, starts his dance, Reyes on him, close range attempt, no, Norwood spikes it against the glass, they obtain possession. And Pierfoot's offense a bit stagnant right now, they've got to get better ball movement, and uh, James Yap being defended very yes. well. You're right about Pierfoot's being a tad predictable, you know where it's going, Mayor Hoffer or Roger Yap. Son Mercado in a bind, they kick it out, Jeff Chan changes his... Direction. Oh, yes! And a 30 second timeout required by Ryan Gregoria and the Pure Food Standard Juicy Giants. And this 30 second ceasefire brought to you by Handy Fix and Per Se Dambakay Mo. Bonsol, Seal Sol. And Sam, right there, a case of being able to move the basketball to a guy that had an open look. Mike Rayback getting a good look right there, and he has hit four out of four from the three-point range, has not missed anything, because that's the only shot he's taken so far, all three-point shots. You know, I have a young neighbor who loves basketball. Uh, his name is Dano Salonga, and he loves rain or shine. He just loves them. I said, why? Just loves rain or shine, and I'm sure he's very happy right now. His team ahead, 85 to 81. Rayback, you know, no, no? Big like, bang, you throw him this game, I like the fact that everybody's... Oh boy, look at the tension all around. It's the kids who have no problem. <laughs> yeah. I was kidding, CD uh, Lastimos, the daughter of uh, Jojo. When you were small, you were just rolling along the aisles, and now she's more concerned than anything else. Sabi niya, Tito Seb, tumanda ka na talaga. Penetration. Talking about a guy that has not, not played a lot of minutes here in the second half, Kirby Raimundo gets another shot to close out 
this game, and he gets a big fish. Oh, boy. And Reyes has gotten on six personal fouls, and a timeout requested now by Rain or Shine back in the moment. They are ahead by four. You're seeing uh, Ronnie Muxano at the top of your screen, clipboard and all. Perfect uh, attire for assistant coach tonight. And uh, <laughs> just talk to his team. And Pat, I have an idea. Marlis, uh, what do you have there? Well, Keiichi Canaletta right now suffered from a minor left ankle sprain. Now, he's trying to nurse it. And he wants to get back into this ball game, especially because he was finding his flow. But speaking of flow, they were talking about their offense, and Coach Ryan was actually asking the boys to let James penetrate in this ball game. You know, they're asking the team to give this final push. They were down by 20, so this should be something they can handle. Back to you, sir. I agree. You know, the touches of James have haven't been that many. And the last couple of sequences, Top of the keyhole we go. This ball batted away. Norwood trying to step back. No shooting room. Nowhere to go. All dressed up. No party to go to. Here's Roger Yap. Steady at that quarterback position. Kirby brushes aside Laure. Bangs into Laure and it's an offensive foul. Kirby just doesn't have it in today's game. He missed two free throws. Then after that, uh, it was real obvious that he was going to go to that uh, spot and gets an offensive foul. And Laura still hurting. That's no flop. <laughs> he got hurt. He got banged there. It must be hard when you get... Don't tell me now that you didn't see that many minutes, but I'm sure in, in, it's on the court. Ang hirap, ano pag malalaki, no? Definitely. It's a jungle out there, as they say. Happy that I stepped away before everyone got taller. <laughs> well, 4.09 to go. Reno Shine hanging to a four point lead. Tandalilang. And Sol Mercado will shoot free throws. You know, Pure Foods right now has to find the energy that they use to overtake that 20 point lead of rain or shine in the last three minutes it is no longer there yes it has gone back to the side of rain or shine and pure foods right now looks like a tired team oh yes parang naubos nung habol ano nung rimate Seb Sarmente Jason Webb Leah Cruz and Patricia Bermudez Hison Raymond Dew and Terry K and uh, that's a familiar side that will be there for a good number of years you know, with Paul Artadi back, you know, Coach uh, Ryan hoping that he can, he can be the guy that can bring back the energy for their team. Seemed like uh, Roger Yap really spent so much as he spearheaded that comeback. Mercado spreading his charities, but enough to give Reno Shine a five-point lead at the 3.57 mark of the final. James Yap, no, uh, there was a lift, but his shooting form was disturbed. Artadi! Rainer Shine, everyone looking that Paul Artadi is going to pass. No one contesting that shot, and Paul Artadi was, was able to go all the way to the top. Artadi has collected 10 points. Ooh, that could have gone either way. Rayback had not established clear position, but there's going to be a foul most likely on Artadi. And it's the penalty against Pure Foods, the fourth on Artadi. Three-point game, three and thirty-one remaining. Not too many changes in the lineups now at this point. Uh, both coaches trying to go with what they have, with the cards they have on the table right now. You know, we talk about Rain or Shine. They have horses that they ride all the way to the end. And you look at um, guys like Gabe Norwood, Mercado, and Chan have all played near 40 minutes in this game yes. and they're going to end up with about 43 minutes or 44 so these guys know that they're going to have to put in all the work Mercado gives them a four point lead Earfoot's now going for more offense may, they may not have the ceiling that they'd like to have with playing with three guards this is a team that likes to have a small forward who's actually more of a rebounding type small forward now they've gone with three guards with Artadi, Yap and James Yap 
Sol with 24. Five point distance. Mayor Hoffer won't shoot for 15. Ardadi sees Roger. James Yap is amply covered. Roger Yap goes straight to the hole, and it's now a three point game. And the nice thing about what Roger Yap there never killed this dribble until it was at a spot that he wanted to shoot at. Jeff Chan waiting for a pass, but waiting for Mercado to make a move. Oh, yes! This has been the Mercado and Norwood show all the way for rain or shine. Here in the second half, there have been the guys that just carried the entire team. 26 points, Roger open for three. It bites! All he needed is like 10 seconds on the bench, and he is back going again. Roger Yap, and this is suspense theater here in the PBA. Raynor Shine barely up. Rayback shopping around, shot clock at six. Norwood aware of the shot clock. No, it will not fall. And a chance for Beerfoot to again tie this ball game. Last time we were tied was when we got stuck at 76. Uh, this play taking a little too long to happen. And into the last two minutes as Roger Yab drills in a big one. Brought to you by Motolite Bank Matagalan and listen to the Beer Foods faithful roar. And we're going to pause for a timeout. This ball game as Beer Foods back in the lead. Big Dome is a rocking and a shaking because this game is a far from over. Oh, Sandarino. Tokyo Tokyo Pope to Katsu play of the game. This cry play. Not so good. Roger Yap. This is tolating here in the second half. Here we go. Rain or shine. Hopes to regain the lead. Artadi and the ball was kicked. It will be retained by Rain or Shine. Oh, that is a big break. Paul Artadi doing a good job of staying in the passing lanes. Gets a hand on it, but was unlucky to also get a foot on it. Enough to destroy the confidence and concentration of Rain or Shine. Now it's all about poise for Rain or Shine. Zev. Ten seconds of the shot clock. Who knows it? Chan tries to go inside. That's a foul. Might be on James Yap. Trying to put a sand in. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Four fouls on James. And the penalty in effect against Beer Foods. Now, Raider Shine made its move uh, from a team that was a team that would always be at the bottom of the standings to a respectable team last year. In this series, it is their opportunity for the players to be matured and to you know, get the, get a chance to be respected by the rest of the league and try to make a really big move beating a, a strong team. I think Sabi Mano, he didn't stop dribbling, circled around the defense and found that gap that he needed and Reynolds Shine is back in the driver's seat. Oh boy. Tension theater. And now a 30 second time I'd requested by Pure Foods, you had mentioned earlier that uh, Rain or Shine ran out of 30s. Uh, and uh, just to quickly tell you that Hadi fixed up first in Bakaymo, Manzo seals all, and you were anticipating a close finish. They may be needing those 30s if the trend does not continue. Well, let, let's see. They actually, uh, Seth, uh, for Rain or Shine, they have one last time out in the back, while Pure Foods, after calling this one, Still have two more, and they actually happen to be all full timeouts. Full timeouts. Kaya nga yung Rainer Shine isang full na lang na titira. Boy, and they will have to be judicious about using that also. In the meantime, another KFC assist delivery, and this is the one that is special for this quarter. This is Aranya to Rayback. Swing, swing, swing to the other side. Enjoy watching BBA action and finger looking good food. 887 8888 is the number to keep, dial, and call to make that food happen. It's been a Roger Yap show. James Yap getting a pick. 
James wants to go inside. Roger says, I'm here. Misses the key. Ray back tries to get a hand in it. No. And Artadi. James Young thought about it. And there's contact. Called against Laure. Actually, Rainer Shine still lucky because James Yap did not go up for the shot. So it's just going to be a side court inbound. But then Rainer Shine also has to be wary. They are already in the penalty. Laure with this third foul. Almost like a 1 4 formation. James Yap. Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. He was going for the shot, didn't release, ended up jumping with the ball. Lost opportunity for Pure Foods, but all is not lost. Now, they've talked about how Pure Foods is the best defensive team in the league. Now they've got to show their defense. That defense has got to show its teeth here. They're still sticking with that zone. Shot clock at 11. Chan thought about it. Chan didn't think, just went for the hole. No. And here comes Pure Foods with another opportunity to grab the lead. And they'll use a timeout, one of two remaining. We'll take a break. Do not think Padala si Dominic sa Winter Olympics. Bagay naman siya dun. Here we go, back to serious matters here, and it's this game on the line, game number two. Oh, he's open. And there's a slight deflection. Reverses! <laughs> and Raynor Chen will use its last time at will hang on. Roger Yap has been the best player of Pure Foods in the second half right here rejected the first time but you have to clean up the mess if you're Rainer Shine fails to do that and that's why he's not in front of Roger Yap and he also has the pay of Rainer Shine si Reyes, the six fouls could have been on that other side of the floor presence could have altered that situation but it will be Rainer Shine with the ball with 27.6 to go let's try to listen in if we can What's going to happen here is you got to go for the win at this point. Uh, I guess uh, if they max out 24 seconds, so uh, the other side will be left with a timeout and th uh, just about uh, under four seconds. Well, for, for Rainer Shine, first things first. Good get inbound. The, get the ball inbounds and get it to the guy that you want to score. You want to get it down to about the last two seconds of the shot clock so that you don't give a lot of opportunities for pure foods. But... You have to also be thinking of a miss. Because if you miss, there's an opportunity for an offensive rebound. And once you get the offensive rebound, know how much time is left on the clock. Here comes that inbound. Chan, no more timeouts for Rain or Shine. Two second differential, game clock, shot clock. Pick provided by Laure, not used. Norwood, spin around. Jeff Chan will have to go for it. He does. He Six scores! Up. And Pure Foods will use its last time out. Rainer Shine not losing their aggressiveness in that play. Sol Mercado tried to attack. It wasn't there. Then Gabe Norwood tried to attack. It wasn't there. But that was enough to suck in the defense. Jeff Chan being respected for that outside shot, but showing he's more than just a three-point shooter. He's a big-time scorer in the fourth quarter. That is his conference high with his 19th point. Your boots will utilize their last timeout. 94-93.
Now uh, it's the turn of pure boots. They're go. They're gonna go for the win here. Real tough decision right now for Coach Ryan Gregory. Obviously, you want to put in the points on the board. But when do you put it in? Do you go for the outright win and try to try to make that basket towards the latter part of uh, 8.5 seconds? Or do you go early, but if you make the basket, you give an opportunity to the other side. You have to be able to tell your players, if we make the basket, go down on defense because the opposing team does not have a timeout and they're going to try to run out. And this game is out of its supply of timeouts. We'll go with the last 8.5. Uninterrupted, save for violations. And Caloy Garcia is telling his team, I have nothing left in terms of timeouts. So they've got to make a stop. And also for Pure Foods, no timeouts. First things first, get the ball inbounds. And after that, put your head down and attack. Here's the inbound by Roger Yap. One point lead by Raynard Shine. Roger Yap thought about it. Here's Kirby. Thinking about it, goes to James, fires, he's fouled. With no time on the clock, Sam. He's fouled. There's no time on the clock. And this is where... Well, they're, I believe a, they're going to have to take a look at this. Yes. time pa. But it looked like, I heard that whistle before the buzzer, but the buzzer may have not come in time. Just look at the top of your screen. There will be a red light on the board. That definitely gets fouled. And everybody yelling here because they're seeing the replay you're seeing. It'll stay as a foul. Game Chef will shoot free throws here. And you can see right there, still some time on the clock. So will it happen again? The team that played catch-up, will they eke out a victory here? This is a lonely spot right here for James. Yeah, alone in the, in the free throw line. First one will tie it. Six tenths of a second remaining. And baby James wondering what the hullabaloo is all about. That's his first point of the fourth quarter, but he wants a second one. No more timeouts. Only six tenths of a second remaining. Second. <laughs> Two free throws. They should. They should give. I think they should get that was a three point yes. foul in the three point area. But you expect James Yap to miss this one. Or at least try to miss it. Pension Theater. That will not. And the big win! And Pure Foods! Is ahead in the series two to nothing, and the game you just witnessed a mirror image of the earlier game we had. <laughs> we it's a Sunday, and we've seen two miraculous comebacks in game one and game two of this PBA doubleheader. And two teams that are going to be hurting at least up to tonight. Leah Cruz, quickly to you, as you are with our best player, Roger Yap. And our best player, as you mentioned, is Roger Yap. Roger Yap, 22 points, three assists, five rebounds. Ashley Dinoble, the scoring average ball, the 10.4 per goal game. It's <laughs> kailangan magdepensa kami, ahayaan mo na namin yung opensa, wat at tatay lang kami para makapali kami sa ano sa game. Alright, may may sumuko ng shock kaparen. Ano bang iniisip mo dito sa mga end moments? Wala wala ako iniisip kundi ano lang, talagang focus na talaga ako na iniisip ko yung ano siguro na masut ko lang talaga para mga para manalo sa game nato, kasi ang hirap Alright, the best of five series to, pero one more win. Pasok na kayo sa semis. Hindi nyo na ipapaabot ng game four, no? Sana, sana, hindi na makaabot. 
So yeah, congratulations, congratulations on the game. Well played. Now, seven Jason, over to you guys. And he's still laughing and puffing, Lee. I can't blame him. And uh, what a win. And uh, how life repeats itself. Huh? <laughs> it, it, you have to feel bad for Rainer's side because it, it was less than a second to go, and this game would have been there. And the same thing happened with Hinebra earlier tonight. They lost 106 105 to Talk and Text. But it's a Wednesday when they get the chance to sort of stretch this series. It'll be up to them, Jason. And, and they have two days to recover or smart from this big loss. But you have to wonder how Rain or Shine, as well as Barangay Hinebra, are feeling right now after games that they thought were there slip through their hands okay final count 95-94 uh, for our game here pure foods winning and against Raider China ahead in the series two to nothing and earlier tonight talking text also coming from behind 106 to 105 in behalf of Jason Webb Patricia for me this season and Leah Cruz I'm Samantha here saying in behalf of director Francis Ophelia and our entire production team the tension theater the thrills never stop here in the PBA